Why is it so important to stop shaming children? Well, firstly, because it really, really does have a very profound impact on them, even if you can't see it in the moment. And secondly, because when we shame children, they experience it as disconnection from us, isolation and feeling that they are just not good enough and acceptable enough to us in that moment. So those are two pretty big reasons, I feel, why we should take a look at how we use shame in everyday life with our children. Now, it's likely that you, as I know I definitely did with my son, are so used to dropping in little, what I call droplets of shame, that you don't, you don't really think about it, you don't really notice them, they're not a big deal, they know I didn't mean it. Well, I can tell you from the other end of things, working with adults and young people as well, is those little droplets of shame, whew, they have a huge impact. Um, if I said now, put your hand up, if you feel like you are good enough and that you, you know, in all situations, you have a, a really solid sense of your self-worth, that you don't back down easily, that you don't apologise all the time for things you've done, that you don't sabotage yourself with your thinking. Well, those are all end results of these droplets of shame in childhood. <laughs> they build up until we really hold a very strong core belief down, down deep in us that you know we're just not good enough and it's the it's the worst thing to have hanging around in your life to be honest so what do droplets of shame in childhood sound like so that you can start to prick your ears up to what you are actually saying to your child it can be things like oh don't be silly that's just silly oh okay is that a droplet of shame well it is for the child because they absolutely absolutely will adore you and even if they can't show it or verbally express it they want to be connected with you to please you to feel as if they are pleasing to you not that it's their job but they will do because that brings greater connection so something like that is a ping droplet of shame uh, other things like oh come on it's really not that bad i think you might just be making a bit of a fuss ping another droplet of shame so you might be getting the idea already that it's actually very very easy and we can even start it when they're babies by saying things like oh my god you have such a stinky bum oh let's sort out that stinky bum now please 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 do not start panicking and thinking oh my gosh i've ruined my child now because of course i said those things they're, they're pretty normal jane well yeah they are pretty normal but the sooner you can eliminate them from your uh what you're saying to your child and your child's life the better so let's bring it back to you why is it so easy? Well, it's so easy because it was done to you so, so, so often when you were a child. Again, most of the time, I really don't feel that our parents or we as parents mean to shame our children. Sometimes, yes, we intentionally do. When we are feeling really angry and frustrated, we might fly into uh, a, a, quite an intentional state of, you know, I am going to damn well teach this child a lesson and that's when the worst shaming will happen and um, we've probably all got memories of those <laughs> but it's that's really really important but it is also these droplets of shame they happen to you and then as I've discovered as a parent unless you do work on yourself you then do them to your child and even risk doing them to your grandchildren when they come along too if you if you have them so it's worth working on clearing out in you at this deep core foundational level the shame you experienced forgiving those who shamed you letting go of the beliefs that you now hold about yourself around the shame that you experienced i can tell you from someone who's done it and someone who i coach people through this 
frighteningly in a way, so often, and the relief that you feel and you get and the potential then and the way you then you can show up for your children and your grandchildren, if you're fortunate enough to get them, um, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it a million times over. So just give it some thought and by all means, if you'd, if you'd like to catch up and have a, an initial free conversation, I love to do that to see if we're a good match to work together. So do by all means, drop me a message.